Hello everyone, this is Ashley here from Ash Tree Original Art and I'm just going to jump right in here and tell you about the technique I'm using right now. So I'm doing some wet on wet which means that I'm working very quickly so I can use paint in an area that is still wet on the paper. This allows the color to blend really nicely and there's not going to be a lot of hard edges and I can get a lot of colors in here with minimal effort of trying to blend them manually so I'm I can just tap in and mix whatever color I want for a nice soft edge up against color to color my color choice involves some mostly greens and some warm yellow colors but also a little bit of browns I wanted a little bit more of a variety creates a better visual effect I'm being mindful of the directions of my brush strokes because I want to be able to best define my forms with the shape of my brush strokes. And as you probably can figure out by now, I am painting a pickle. This is actually a gift for one of my friends because we have a shared love of this, um, this pickled vegetable, this pickled cucumber. So it's something fun that I wanted to just paint for her. I'm adding details right now for you know, the, the stem on the top, and I'm going to be getting into the stem on the bottom. Um, but this was just something really fun that I wanted to paint. Um, I've had to do this part pretty quickly, because uh, most of it is the wet on wet, and I wanted to get that nice color diffusion effect in there. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to be moving into a water dab technique. Uh, I use this technique on my grapes as well. You just load your brush with a little bit of water, and you tap in an area that is still wet and moist on the paper and what happens is the water pushes the the pigment of the acrylic ink away and creates a highlight effect um, and it's generally more diffused than if you would take like a white paint and dab onto a, a dry uh, form but this is really fun to do, really quick. You can see those little blots, um, those little dab areas spread out and get bigger as time's going on. And even though this is a time-lapse video, you can see it a little bit faster than compared to when it happens in real life. And I'm counteracting some of the bigger areas that um, got really light as a result of that water dab effect, a water diffusion effect, just to make the texture a little bit more believable, adding some shadows underneath some of those, I don't know, really know what they're called, they're pickle pimples, I guess, that's where the cucumbers had those spikes. But now I'm going to add a background of shimmery gold ink. I mixed some uh, yellow and reds for an orange base, and I have this neat metallic ink that I'm adding to the background because I want this pickle to be truly magical. After the, the main swirls, I have a little bit of diffused ink. Oh, right now it's coming up pretty dark because it's uh, dampening the paper and you can see the dark table underneath. Um, but when it dries, you're going to see that the darkest areas are actually going to be the least intense. So you can see that a little bit here. And now I'm just adding my stamp as a finishing touch. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. You can view more art on my Facebook page and Instagram, and paintings are available for purchase on Etsy. Hope you learned something about how to paint a magical pickle.